Welcome back to the channel guys. How are you? My name is Alex from Hoppos and we're here with another video for you guys. But before we can jump into this video, make sure you guys stop, like, share, and subscribe. A lot of you guys don't understand how important that is to us as creators is to get that sub, to get that like. Because what it does is it helps us pretty much put a penny to our time here uh, creating all these videos and all this content. So if you can, do me a favor, let's get a like on there. And before we get any further, let's talk about what we're doing today. From that time lapse you just saw us doing right now, we are working on what well, we just bent up like 12 or 13 custom base stands for hydraulic pumps. But two of those base stands are actually custom base stands for our customers, which I will show you right over here. So this one itself right here is just pretty much a standard stand. It's just built to his specific measurements. This is for one of our customers out of Vegas. And then this one right here, customer requested the Cadillac logo in it. Obviously you guys are looking at these upside down right now, so we gotta flip these over. And as far as this one for the Cadillac logo, I went ahead and did the full line around the outside, pretty much cut this whole piece out right here. Um, and then I'm gonna come in and tack it from the back. That way it has a distinguished line around the Cadillac logo so you can really tell what it is. This one's pretty simple. All we gotta do is just clean up this back a little bit, get this centered up, get a few little tacks back here, some down here, and this one's done. This one right here, we just gotta weld up the seams because that was requested by the customer. Weld them up, get them molded, get everything cleaned up, and we're done. Those aren't very hard. Those are fairly simple. Um, so we just got to jump on those right now. Uh, and then I just cut up a whole bunch of our Powerball purchase because uh, this weekend we sold like 17 or 18 pairs of those. So we just cut up another 40. Uh, that way we could pretty much get inventory back in stock. Let me show you. Once we finish those base stands, uh, from there we're going to be getting back on some other projects actually for the same customer there so let me show you those but before we go there the machine shop guys are working on multi-hole bullets which are right there a new item which i'm very excited for but we can't tell you about it yet and then oh they took the cart oh over here a whole bunch of stillman style end caps going to be getting set up again let's see if they have the the jaw set up Oh yeah, it looks like they're starting to work on them right now. So much more motor bands, as you can see here. Getting everything set up. These ones are pretty much already done. Set screws just have to go in. They still gotta machine those. Get the, the simulated bolt in there. And these are the other projects we gotta start working on right here. These are some original, oh, let me get that box out of the way some original aircraft um, tanks. So these are the little coconuts. So that's what people refer them to, the coconuts. And we got the little minis right here. So these ones are pretty thick. So this one's gonna be a little fun to machine, but we gotta work in some, I call these medium nuts because we call the, big, the other ones big nuts. So these are medium nuts. So they'll be going something like that. So we gotta machine these out, get some uh, fixtures set up for these. These ones are going to take a little time to do, so uh, I'll be focusing on these after we finish the base stands. These are working on getting shipping out right now. And it looks like they're pulling a four pump kit as well. They got a two pump kit shipping out over there. Actually, a three pump kit shipping out over there as well. And these are busy, so I'm going to kind of put this camera down where it gets to work and uh, set you guys up with some videos. Before we get welding, my helmet definitely took a beating this week, so i got to get this cleaned up. And uh, gotta get some new lenses on here because I can't see anything out of there. Alright, so I got my helmet all cleaned up. That was, hey, it almost looks like a brand new helmet again. I've owned this Miller helmet probably now I'm gonna say seven or eight years. Um, I had a Miller helmet before that. Um, I just honestly was replacing parts on the left and right because I beat it up so bad. This one I've got probably the longest life out of. By far the Miller leaves are my favorite so I uh, definitely probably have to invest in a new one. Um, I burnt through the corner here pretty good but I love it. It's my favorite helmet so I gotta take care of it. So there's 
one thing I just noticed right now, which I wish I would have noticed it in the beginning, because I would have actually either bent it the opposite way, so you don't see it, or I would have made a whole new one, but uh, there's actually a nice big gouge that runs through this whole thing. It's, it's not anything that we did, it's just when they supplied us the material, uh, something gouged the crap out of this. So, the worst part is I'm already like more than halfway done, so I'd hate to kind of go backwards. So I'm just gonna bust out the big guns, and I'm just gonna level out this whole front section, and then bring it back down um, with the standard. Cause I could save it, but just, I mean it's down, I don't say, 10,000s maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up, that way I can save it, um, and then get everything else molded fresh, and we'll just continue from there. I don't wanna waste this piece of material, cause it's a big piece of material, and it's not a bad stand, it's a good stand. So I'm just going to save it real quick and uh, we'll keep moving. Base stand number two done. I definitely had to break it down a lot more than I normally would, but man, this thing is so smooth now. Like, it's ridiculous. So, I actually broke it all the way down. Oh, I don't even know what this is. It might be a 200. But you can see I definitely dunked it up really bad. But I believe it was like a 200 on the last paper. And I hit it by hand at uh, the very end. But it is smooth and of course we don't have to go through this whole process to bring it down this far but because i had that little gouge in there i want to make sure it was all nice flat and level um that way when this is ready to go out to the polisher chrome that the polisher doesn't hate our customer for bringing this thing in i want to make sure that it's nice and ready uh pretty much i don't want to say this is like a pre-polish but it's pretty dang close i'll tell you that so i'm just getting pretty much dialed in on my setup here so I'm making sure that this is gonna be the correct angle before we machine anything, before we machine the bungs to fit this. So I just sent a, a DM over to the owner of these tanks. That way before I go and machine these and put them in the wrong area, make sure that's the correct angle that he's looking for. If not, we can correct now before we make any holes because we haven't done anything yet. So right now I just sent him a picture. We're gonna wait on a response and then we're just gonna continue once I get a response from him. All right, we just got the okay from the cup on the angle, so now kind of uh, get them drilled out. in here uh, we gotta get the paint branded off around the area we're gonna weld and then we gotta go turn down the bugs next so 
So next step, you gotta get these guys turned down, get these fitted up to here, and then we'll go be uh, able to get everything welded. We got all four of these. Got all four of these all grinded up, smoothed out. Got the paint taken away from the area we're gonna be welding on. So, next step from here is bums. Once we get bums going, uh, then we gotta build a little jig to get these all in the same area. So, still got about another three hours worth of work to go, uh, but. I gotta actually take off right now and go drop off some of my dad's parts at the engraver. So we're gonna jump back on this tomorrow. So when you guys will see me next, it will be tomorrow. All right, guys. So we are back. Oh, we are back from engraving, but I am also back too because I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but uh, I actually got like a little weird bug the other day. So now I'm back. We are uh, up and running. Got the laser cutting right here, right behind me. Uh, we just cut up like. Ooh, like 15 sheets or something so now we're gonna be jumping back onto those tanks like you guys saw in like well for you guys in like six seconds ago but we're gonna be jumping right back on those I'm designing up a little jig uh, there's I noticed there's I was gonna have a little issue trying to get them all matching so I'm gonna build a little jig to weld up these four tanks for now let me show you guys what I'm working with all right so that's the little jig template that I made up so what it's gonna do is pretty much hold the nut in place for me so once I do one they all repeat so that's my goal, at least so far in my head, and it seems like it's gonna work. So now I need to go back to where I was just at to go grab the USB. Uh, I feel like that's like literally the story of my life. Literally just walk back and forth all day. So grab the USB, transfer that program into this computer over here, and then start getting cut up, do a little testing, and see how it works, and then I'll fill you guys in in a second. Before we can do that, I gotta swap up the bed real quick. As you can see, right behind me, swap it out. I right, get that all out. A whole bunch of big body archers, Lincoln Town Car archers, and a whole bunch of restock on donuts as well. So, get this swapped out. I got one more thing to cut, uh, which is a jig, and then we'll go test it. Getting everything cut out real quick, and this will be our first tester. Uh, see if this jig even works. So here's the pieces we just cut. Uh, these are going to be the two tank holders, which is the same radius as the tank. So, no slot. Then this guy, it's a little a little jig to hold that guy in place so almost like a little wrench but what it's going to do is going to hold me uh, squared up and centered in there so i'll be able to bend this in shape and then we'll get these welded up over here and then mount it all on this plate and done so yeah just like that done oh and just like that that's gonna be our little jig told you guys it's gonna be done nice and quick so this will line me up every single time i just drop that in there that's gonna hold it in place, hold the tank level, and we'll be able to get this guy in the correct location every single time now. Uh, it also has a little stop back here, that way the tank stops. So everything's looking good. Obviously this isn't like a permanent jig or nothing. This is a, just a quick temporary something just to make this a lot easier. All right, hopefully you guys can see. My head's gonna be out of the picture, but get everything tacked up here. I uh, got the first one set up, pushed against the stop here. Resting nice and evenly on here. And this guy is all nice and tight on here. So we'll get the first tack, check it out, see how it is, and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay, we're pretty square, so that's good. That's really good. So now that I know the first one's gonna work, we're gonna go ahead, actually, I'm gonna put that back in and get a second tack on it real quick, and then we'll start welding. All right, so we got all four of these tanks all tacked up. I have them kind of lined up side by side like this because I was making sure they're all parallel with each other as far as the bungs go. But everything's looking ready to go, like we're ready to weld. We got a weld, time to go.
Ooh, these things are a little bit crispy right now, so we're just gonna let them cool down for right now. Can't wait to see what they look like with the caps on there. Get the caps on there, and then this set is done. I should have took off this jacket or the sweatshirt before I started welding, because it's warm now. All right, there's all four. They're still, still a little warm, still a little warm, but not too bad, it's all. This one, I didn't grind the paint back far enough, but not too bad. We're gonna get these out, um, let these guys cool down, get them all wrapped up, uh, get them cleaned up first, actually, and then uh, get them wrapped up. And then we'll ship them out to the customer, but before then, job's not quite done yet. Still got three more. So, for this video, it's done. For the next video, you'll probably see these just jump in there real quick. Uh, I gotta set these up still, so, Thank you guys for always liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you guys don't subscribe, please subscribe now for me. Uh, do me a favor, give the video a like. And we still have our tax time sale going on right now as we speak. So if you guys need any hydraulic, air suspension parts, www.hopwithonline.com. Also, make sure you guys follow us on both of our Facebooks, our TikToks, YouTube. If you don't subscribe, subscribe. I know, I already said it, but do that for me. And Instagram. Hoppos underscore Alex is my personal one. Then we have Hoppos underscore Inc, which is arts. Now, let me get back to work. We'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out.